So now, as I've already told you, a patient with bleeding esophageal varices. who is not responding to endoscopic therapy we need to decrease the portal pressure in these patients okay so to decrease the portal pressure in these patients we need to perform either tips or shunt surgery Okay, so this tips is also a type of shunt. This is transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt. Okay, this is done uh, radiologically by interventional radiologist, and this is another uh, way of performing this. Uh, of the shunt is a shunt surgery. Okay. Now, in each, uh, the first topic we will discuss here is TIPS, okay, so the TIPS, TIPS stands for Transjugular Intrahepatic Portosystemic Shunt. So, I will explain it with a diagram. So, this is liver, this is portal vein, these all are hepatic veins, IVC, IVC goes to the heart. SVC and SVC communicates with IJV. Okay, so uh, if we are cannulating right IJV, we are cannulating right IJV. Okay, through the cannulation of right IJV, we are uh, passing a guide wire here towards the right hepatic vein. Okay, and then through uh, this we are making a communication in between the right hepatic vein and right portal vein we are passing through right ijv okay so now we are placing a stent here in between the we are placing a stent here in between the right hepatic vein and the right portal vein so what is happening there is a portal hypertension so the blood from the portal system as it is valveless will go will bypass the liver and will go towards the hepatic vein okay and will reach the systemic circulation in the ivc and all so this will be the blood flow direction okay so tip stands for transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt it is a kind of a non selective shunt why it is a non-selective shunt? Because whole of the portal flow can go towards the uh, systemic circulation. We have not specified a single site or single location which can, which is only to be decompensated. Whole of the portal system can decompress itself. Okay, so it is a non-selective shunt. The stent is present in between. Or the communication is present in between right side of the portal vein and right hepatic vein. Okay, name of the stent is via TOR, and we cannulate the right IJV to make a communication between hepatic vein and the portal vein. Okay, now. We are performing tips in which conditions? What all are the indications? Okay. Suppose there is a patient with uh, cirrhosis and portal hypertension. There are large varices, and the patient is not will not be getting the liver in the next six months or one year. Now. The patient is having large esophageal varices or the patient is having bleeding esophageal varices or the patient is having uh, you can say ascites which is not responding to medical management or the refractory type of ascites. 
for refractory ascites for refractory variceal bleeding and if there is a large varices for prophylactic control of those varices and to decrease the pressure especially in those cases in which we need some more time to look for a donor liver okay so in these cases we generally perform tips okay other cases we can be in case if there is any problem in the this hepatic venous system or hair in the systemic circulation like uh, you can say butt chiari syndrome okay or a veno occlusive disease so we can bypass that occlusion through this stent we can make a uh, communication here and we can bypass the hepatic venous obstruction which is present at this site okay so in butt chiari syndrome and veno occlusive disease also this tips is having role and in hepato renal syndrome is all the there is a role of tips okay now in but all cases we should avoid doing tips suppose there is some problem in the heart or some problem in the lung okay this whole of the portal blood is now bypassing the liver and is reaching straight away towards the heart okay and the lungs through the hepatic vein through the hepatic vein the blood will go in the ivc and through the ivc it will reach the heart and from the heart it will reach the lungs so in in case if the patient is having right sided heart failure or in case if there is any pulmonary hypertension in those cases we should avoid doing a tips okay in cases of hepato pulmonary syndrome also we should avoid doing a tips okay and what all are the complications of uh, tips because this uh, portal blood flow is bypassing the liver so the there will be a lot of ammonia in the portal blood flow which is now not detoxified into urea liver generally through urea cycle detoxifies this ammonia okay so now this ammonia is directly reaching into the systemic circulation so there is a high possibility of developing hepatic encephalopathy okay so uh, this is the most common complication with tips so this is about tips okay now what all are the indications i'll enumerate prevention of acute variceal bleeding this is the most common complication a uh, most common indication the other indications are refractory variceal bleeding refractory ascites refractory hydrothorax then there is veno occlusive disease butchiari syndrome and there is hepatorenal syndrome okay these are the indications for doing tips okay and uh, what all are the contraindications contraindications i have told you whenever there is a right heart failure there is pulmonary hypertension there is hepato pulmonary syndrome another absolute contraindication is polycystic liver disease why polycystic liver disease is a absolute contraindication because there is abnormal anatomy abnormal liver anatomy so there is increased chances of injury okay so these four are the absolute contraindications relative contraindication for tips are portal vein thrombosis already there is a portal vein thrombosis with the uh, cannulating the portal vein and or putting a stent the stent can also develop thrombosis or there can be a possibility of extension of this thrombosis from the portal vein towards the systemic circulation so that but that is a relative contraindication okay or in presence of any hypervascular liver tumor there is a possibility of bleeding or already if there is encephalopathy 
all these are also the contraindication but are relative contraindication okay now what is the uh, you can say complications now what all are the complications of tips uh the complications are most common one is i have already told you hepatic encephalopathy other can be stent migration or stent thrombosis why there is hepatic encephalopathy due to which component because of ammonia or raised ammonia in systemic circulation okay now the next topic